Hey everyone, I really hope you're having a great day today. So, I've had a few requests just asking about my spec and my armour, so I thought I would go through them, and I thought whilst I'm doing that, I'd double the video up and I'd also look at what abilities you need to be using to get the most damage as a warrior. So, this does apply to two-handed warriors as well as dual-wielding warriors. So I really hope you enjoy the video, and I guess I'll just jump right in with my armour. And I guess I can tell you a bit of backstory about the different items. So let's start off with the Lionheart Helm. So this is actually an item which you craft, and I believe you need... Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, I believe you need 12 Arcanite Bars. In order to make this and an arcanite bar will typically be worth maybe 80 gold each so you're looking at quite a big farm for this uh i think you paid, took me about a week and a half maybe two weeks to get this of um fairly intense playing and the good thing about this helmet is it improves your chance of getting a crit and a hit by two percent each and you guys may also notice i've got plus eight strength on here now this comes from, let me think, Philibrum of Veracity, which you can buy off the auction house. Now, these actually are books which start a quest in the Burning Steps, and in order to complete the quest, you need four Whisper Root Tubers and four Crystal Force. The Whisper Root Tubers are gained through Felward, and the Crystal Force you can actually get from um Umgoro Crater. And in order to get the Whisper Root Tuba, you can just Google it, but you probably need to... Well, you need to complete a quest, basically. Um, you also need a Black Diamond, but they're really easy to get, so um, I wouldn't worry about that. And again, um, I think you need to put in about um, 40 additional gold. So again, to get the plus 8 enchant, you're looking um, at about 150 gold. I'd, I'd say maybe 120, possibly. Next, we've got the Anixia Tooth Pendant which is fairly straightforward. It dropped from Anixia, the big dragon, and I really like this item. Again, it's got one hit and one crit. You guys really want to be getting nine hits chance, okay? So if I go to my um, main here, um, I've got some sort of a macro setup over here on the right-hand side, which um, equips my armor set. So... If you want to be doing dungeons and stuff at um, a high end, you really need 9% um, hit chance because this is the maximum amount of hits that you can utilise. And think about it like this. If you are missing hit, then basically there's 1% miss chance, but you're also missing crit um, on top of that because the chances that you're going to crit uh, are 1% less because if you don't hit, you can't crit, I guess. So anyway, um, it's worth getting hit capped at 9%. Let's go on to the Shake, uh, Drake Talon Paladrones. I think these fall from um, Blackwing Lair. And again, they're pretty nice. Um, I've got plus 30 attack power on here. Now, you can get the plus 30 attack power by becoming revered with the Zandalari tribe. So that's what I did. Next, I've got a cape here. Now, this isn't actually my best cape. Let me hear. Uh, this cape's quite good because it's got a lot of armor. So, something like this would be perfect for a druid. I've also got some um, plus three agility on there when ideally I should be having um, plus five resistance on there. Let me just equip my nice cloak. Okay. I'm also going to um, save this. So, anyway, um, this cloak's a lot nicer. Um, cloak of Fire More. Again, I think this is Blackwing Lair, and you get plus 50 attack power, which is uh, very nice. Again, this was one of the items that um, dropped from doing Zolgarab. Uh, I think you need to be um, exalted, not revered, but exalted with them to get this. And this is a very nice breast breastplate for a well, for any kind of warrior, guys. Uh, it's got um, 24 stamina on there. Um, and it's got plus four defense. So even though I'm a DPS warrior, 
this will give you um a little bit of resilience it's also got 828 armor so it's um it's really nice to have you could go for a blessed breastplate with um plus two percent crit on it but i actually like this one because it makes me um a lot more difficult to kill um i've also got the battleborn arm braces and i mostly use these from well i mostly use these for the hit and the crit basically to get hit capped um ideally i would not use these uh, ideally i would use something like my yeah I would um, use the Zandalar um, Vindicators Arm Guards, right? Which have um, 13 strength, 13 agility, 13 stam, so... And plus 9% strength, which I think is an enchant. Um, so yeah, those are pretty nice. Um, my main weapon is the Untamed Blade, which again drops from Blackwing Lair. And this is a very nice weapon. Um... And the cool thing about this is there's about, um, I think it's about 3% hit chance. But, uh, yeah. Um, actually, I think it's higher than that. Basically, um, you stand a chance of getting plus 300 strength. And 300 strength, you double it to get your attack power. So, my attack power would um, go from 1,000, roughly speaking, to 1,600. So... Obviously, when this crits, I'm going to be doing, like, um, significantly more damage. Maybe 20% more damage, would you say? Um, my gun's fairly standard. Um, I think this is a Molten Core, if I remember correctly. I've got plus 7 damage on here, which is the scope. Which you can just buy off the auction house. It's inexpensive. And the good thing about this is it gives you plus 1 crit. Now, there are some guns which can give you plus hit. And... The reason why you might want hit items, guys, is basically there will be damn items which don't have hit on them, which will do more damage. So if you can get your hit from somewhere else, it means you can actually use items which cause more damage. Um, flame Guard Gauntlets, I believe, drop from Molten Core. And again, we've got plus seven on them, plus seven strength. Um, so... I think that's a bog standard enchant. Can't quite, can't quite recall, but uh, yeah, they're cool. Uh, again, this dropped from um, Ragnaros, um, Raggy, and it's it's a very very nice item. It gives you one crit, one hit, and it does thirty one strength, right? Which again is about sixty two attack power. So yeah, very nice item for DPS warrior. Um, these again drop from Zorgorub, the blood-soaked leg plate, and I think these are probably the best in the game right now, because um, you get 36 strength. Um, I've also got another 8 strength, which again was the Librum of Veracity, which you can put on your head or your legs. So, yeah, um, just for the Librum of Veracity, you're looking at about 300 gold for both of these, maybe. Um, but, yeah, I get a lot of use out of them, I guess. Um... You can actually use these for tanking if you want, because you've got your plus 10% defense. Um, plus 10% defense increases um, all of your secondary um, defense stats by a little bit. So I can unequip these, and you guys might see that um, my dodge will go to 9.7, my parry 5.2, stick them on, everything increases. So... Defense is really good, even though it's kind of the best of the worst, I guess. The worst of the best, <laughs> whatever you prefer. I've got uh, Saf Safion's Scale Boots, however you say that. And I've also got these boots over here, which will give you um, one hit chance. But I don't like these boots because they give you agility instead of strength. And... The way I think about this is 20 agility equals 1 crit, right? But 1 crit, I in my book, is about the equivalent of about 15 strength. But it's possibly even less than that, guys. But I kind of calculate it as being 15 strength equal... Sorry, 15 agility equals uh, 20 strength. So, uh, yeah, these do... These increase my damage quite a bit. Uh, and I quite like them, if I'm honest. I... I can't remember where they dropped, but if I had to guess, I would say 
Um, I can find out very quickly. A uh, bit unprofessional, I guess, guys, but uh, I'm interested now. So I'm just Googling, and it's working very well. Um, oh, I think they just dropped from loads of different bosses. They There's a 3% chance they'll drop from Anixia, 4% um, chance of dropping from Nefarian, and yeah, there's some various sort of other places. So um, they're a random dro drop, guys. Next, I've got my Don Julio's band, which is very nice. Um, I think I got this from being exalted with uh, Atari Basin. So it is quite easy to get um, exalted with those guys. All you really have to do is pick up a load of items in the battleground and use a trinket which you can upgrade the trinket basically every time but you use a trinket and the trinket will teleport you back to the um base and once you're in the base you can hand in all these items and get loads of reputation so this is a really you know uh, again i probably would say it will take you about maybe a week or two weeks of playing this to get exalted with these guys it's um quicker than you think and nowadays, it's really easy to um, finish the battlegrounds. Um, Horde typically wins, so if you're Alliance, then <laughs> if you don't have a good win ratio, then, well, I'm, I'm sorry, I guess. <laughs> Nothing I can really do. But anyway, um, like I say, I like these because it gives you a crit and a hit and plus 16 attack power and a little bit of stamina. Um, Master Dragon Slayer's Ring. I... I'm gonna say I got this from um, Blackwing Lad, definitely. Um, can't remember if it was uh, Nefarian or not. Uh, let me have a little look. Oh, the Lord of Blackrock. Oh, okay, that's cool. So yeah, I got this, I think, from handing in the um, head of Nefarian, guys. So when you kill Nefarian, Someone will get the head and you can hand it in and get an item. You can only do this once per character, so that's how I got that item. And I really like it. What you guys might notice is I've got loads of hit here to get up to 9%. But in PvP, you really don't need any hit whatsoever. So if you have an item that's got no hit, then you should keep it and possibly use it for PvP. Um... Again, I've got a very disappointing trinket here, and there are some really nice trinkets out there. There's um, a trinket in Blackwing Lair, which drops on a sort of semi-regular basis. It hasn't dropped for ages um, for our guild, but uh, the I can think it gives you plus two crit and plus two hit and something else. So if that drops, I'm going to be over the moon, but I never actually got the um, item that gives you 2% uh, crit. Which is the stupidest thing I've ever done in, on this character. Um, there's a quest that you hand into Thrall. And he'll give you a trinket. And I chose one of the stupid trinkets. I don't know why. I was an idiot. But uh, yeah. I, I've got that junk. So that gives me 20 attack power. Which is kind of quite irrelevant really. And plus one hit. Um, and then I've got this item. Now this is possibly the best item in the game. You get this item, the Diamond Flask, from Sunken Temple. And you need to do a quest in order to get this. And like I say, this is quite literally the best item in the game. And I'm going to show you why. So, you may have noticed from my inventory, I've got a load of healing gear, <clears throat> which I'm going to put on. Now you might think, why on earth would someone like me who does melee damage, have 349 um, spell healing. And the answer is very simple. I, I'm i going to demonstrate. Let me uh, demonstrate. Whoa. Okay. As you guys might see, um, I'm kind of getting a little bit damaged here. This wasn't pre-planned, by the way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my diamond flask. I'm going to switch back to my gear that I had on before. Just look at my health bar, guys. 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 8, 2, 9. 
So let's go to my combat logs, what happened to me. It says I'm being healed for 358 health from the diamond flask. Okay, now, this, ordinarily I get 9 health every 5 seconds, but because I have, me, uh, <coughs> sorry guys, my interface is kind of messing up. Because I've got all... Oh. Okay, yeah, sorry. Because I have 349 um, spell healing, um, this means that I can basically heal for a huge amount. So, 349 I will heal for, plus 9, and this happens every 5 seconds. Now, the Diamond Flask, with um, your spell gear enables you to kill basically all the bosses in Maradon that you couldn't kill without this and it actually enables you to solo some really high-end dungeons and things and I, I only found out about this a few days ago but I thought that's really brilliant um, and you guys might know I've got a load of healing gear here so um, a few highlights is my Lay of the Life Giver which I think I got from um, the snowy place that I just mentioned a minute ago. Oh, what, what's it called? Alterac <laughs> um, Valley, that's it. Um, I got this from Alterac um, Valley from being um, revered, which gives you um, 53 healing per second. Um, I've got a few nice healing items here, guys. Um, I've got these very mediocre um, healing shoulders, but I've stuck 33 healing on which is huge, and I got the 33 healing from um, selling about uh, 60 or 70 pounds worth of um, Baiju's, basically, um, to get the shoulder enchant. And I got all, literally all of this off the auction house yesterday. You may notice I've got a few um, items on, such as my um, warrior breastplate, now, you might think, why wouldn't I have a healing breastplate to get even more healing per second? Well, if you look at my health, guys, if I switch between um, my different armor sets, you'll notice my health goes down pretty significantly. And the reason for this is a massive reduction in stamina, basically. So, I've still got my breastplate of might which has 28 stamina and i've got a few um sort of other items dotted around which will increase my stamina and whatnot and this um stops the big discrepancy basically when i'm switching between armor sets so there's still some discrepancy but it's a lot better um so i realize i've talked an awful lot i won't spend too long on the talents guys but I wanted to go over them fairly quickly um, just to show you what I'm using. And this is really optimised for two-handed swords. Now, I know in theory, um, dual wielding is better, kind of. But I still like the single-handed swords. Um, I use for dual wielding if I'm killing a lot of low-level creatures and I want to kill them fairly quickly. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of still specialised for the two-hand because I've got a very nice two-handed sword, which I'll equip, and you can see the Untamed Blade. And I I still like this. You can do an awful lot of damage with stuff like Whirlwind, which will attack eight enemies with an, a standard attack from this sword. So you can do some really serious damage. Um, Bloodthirst, again, is probably the best the most damaging ability in the game and you also get a small amount of healing so my rotation looks a bit like this right um i should have chosen some better enemies i guess so whirlwind chance to crit here so as i build up rage the first thing you should use is blood first So hopefully they'll get me some uh, rage. It should shoot up in a minute. Um, they're obviously really low levels. So. Ooh. You know they disarmed me. That's, an, that's really impressive actually. 
Um, okay, anyway, on with the video. The first thing you should always use is blood first. As you can see, um, I've got um, Crusader, which has gone off, which increases strength by 100. But there's something I didn't mention. Um, I've got Crusader enchant on my two-handed weapon, and, uh, you know, broadly speaking, you can get other things like life stealing, but uh, Crusader's broadly the best um, in the game right now for warriors, and it gives you a random chance of getting some health and increasing your um, strength by 100, which is 200 attack power bonus, and that also stacks with um, plus 300 strength, so I've got potentially um, plus 400 strength on the sword um, if both of these proc. And as you can see, um, I think the proc rate's higher on lower level enemies, so this isn't really fair, I guess. But, uh, as you can see, it's um, actually not too difficult to keep the procs up. Okay, my sword is procced now, so I've got plus 300 strength. Which, um, you guys might, if I can do it in... No, I can't really do it in time. Um, you guys will notice my um, attack power will shoot up. So at the moment, my attack power is 974. And that's because I'm using my um, items which have 9% hit chance. So I can go for DPS here. My hit chance will drop to 7. And my attack power will go up to 110. Which is um, a bit better. But like I say, you want really the 9% um, hit if you're doing high level enemies. So anything over 60 really. I, I guess I'm getting a bit sidetracked here. Um, I'll just go for my talents. So I've got Arms and Fury. So Fury, I've got a fairly standard build. Um, I've got Improved Cleave, which isn't amazing, but I use Cleave quite a lot in my rotation. I've got Improved Execute, um, which, again, probably isn't the best use of talents in the world, but it does mean that I can execute and retain more rage. Um, so when you execute, guys... You need to read the tooltips, and you really need to think about what these do. <clears throat> um, attempt to finish off a foe, causing 600 damage and converting each extra point of rage into 15 additional damage. Only usable on enemies that have 20% or less health. <clears throat> so, what this will actually do is, because the um, requirement is reduced by 5, it means I can use Execute more. And additionally, it will do more damage because I'll be able to convert more um, more rage into damage, basically. Um, <clears throat> fairly standard setup. Um, I've got plus 5% crit, which is mandatory. You may notice my battle shout is only 4 out of 5. That's kind of because I ran out of talents. But it was deliberate, right? Because I figured if I'm in a group with a load of other warriors, they're going to be doing their battle shouts, okay? And that means I don't have to. So I can get one point to spend on something else and still have a 20% increase in attack power. But this does also mean that my attack power is slightly lower if I'm on my own. Um, so yeah, fairly standard. Flurry is very, very good. Increases your attack speed by 30%. Um, Enrage is pretty good. It's all fairly standard. And Bloodfirst is literally the best um, damage dealing move in the game for warriors, which is cool. Um, Mortal Strike, some people use it, um, and it's quite effective in PvP because it reduces healing, but for pure damage, Blood First is great. So instantly attack the target, causing damage equal to 45% of your attack power. In addition, the next five successful melee attacks will restore 10 health. So... Oh, um, it's actually 20 health in the later version. Um, as you guys can see, my attack power is 1,000, um, roughly speaking. But if my sword procs, that'll give me 300. And if a Crusader procs, that'll give me another 100. So that will shoot up to 1,400. Equally, I could use my Diamond Flask, which will give me 75 strength, which is, again, 150 um, attack power. Because, you know, you've got to double that. So, 
yeah, you, you're looking at some um, really decent attack power there. And bear in mind, you can have all kinds of buffs and stuff which will increase, if you're doing raiding and stuff, you can have buffs which will increase your um, strength. So yeah, this is a wonderful damage dealer. And if it crits, um, I think when this crits, you can get up to maybe 5,000, um, possibly even 6,000 damage. Um, so yeah, just to reiterate, guys, I always use Blood First first then i use whirlwind then if there are multiple enemies i will use cleave if i've got um rage to burn and i will also use hamstring and i only typically use heroic strike if i've got like loads of rage and i want to get rid of a rage because um okay you think about this guy guys so You've got this amazing ability, Blood First, but it costs 30 Rage. So you need to manage your Rage to make sure you've got enough to do your Blood Firsts. And this is kind of good. So it does your normal um, attack plus 138 and causes a high amount of threat. So for a start, you don't really want threat as a DPS warrior. You want to keep your threat as low as possible. So it's best to avoid Heroic Strike unless you want to burn some mana and you're fairly low in the sort of damage tables anyway, or I should say threat tables. Um, you may also notice, guys, I've got a macro, which, again, you could probably Google if, if you want to, but um, basically when I press this button here, I will charge into battle, so number one, and once I'm in battle, if I press number one again, it will take me to the Berserker stance, and... This is really cool because right now I'm out of combat, so it will take me to the battle stance. If I'm in combat, it will take me to berserker stance. And the charge in battle stance also generates 15 rage and stuns the enemy for one second. So, for example, I'll charge this guy, I get my 15 rage, and I'll obviously um, smack him. I can instantly switch to berserker stance. Um, and you will lose some of your rage if you do that, guys. But what you can typically do is find an enemy, 